first uh, book that really got me into fantasy was Ella Enchanted. I was six or seven when I first read that one, and that was a really great um, sort of stepping stone into fantasy because it was a familiar story that had itself kind of turned on its head. Garfield comic strips changed my life. I actually learned how to read uh, using Garfield comic strips. I don't know how many other people can say that. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I am still searching for Narnia. Like if I go to a hotel and there are wardrobes in the hotel, I feel like I have to knock on everybody's door and actually look in their wardrobe because the one that I don't look in is gonna be where Narnia is. A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway. It was the first time that I ever had a book crush on a guy. It kind of just blew me away how bittersweet romance can be. Charlotte's Web, just because I was so scared of spiders and I, it never occurred to me that they could have feelings or that anybody else could see them as a real friend and a mentor and all those other things. Probably the Mercedes Lackey Valdemar fantasy series. One of the first fantasy series I ever read had a gay hero and I lived in a town where everybody looked and acted the same and it taught me that the world is more interesting and more multifaceted than my little experience had taught me so far. It's the Adventures of Curious George. Here was a character that was so curious and brave about the world, and I was curious about the world, but I wasn't brave. The Thief Lord by Cornelia Funke, and I think that would be the first book that changed my life because it was the first time I remember really being like obsessed with a book in the way that I continue to chase now as a reader. Probably Little House in the Big Woods by Laura Ingalls Wilder because that was the first book without pictures, chapter book that I read by myself. I think that's what kind of made me into a reader. Half the Sky by Nicholas Kristof. Ramona and Her Father. And I was so excited to read it and I was so thrilled when I finally got to page 100. And I thought there should be like confetti or balloons or something at page 100 saying, congratulations, you did it. One picture book that for some reason just stuck with me is like this like I think it's very like 1950s called A Fly Went By and it's all about like this fly that's scared and then the frog is chasing it and then like a cat's chasing the frog and so on and so forth. Basically the lesson is like every time you think there's like some terrible person or terrible monster behind you they're just scared too. Madeline Lengel's A Wrinkle in Time. Kind of my first true science fiction novel and it really opened my eyes to this whole world of books that were about other worlds which I hadn't been exposed to up to that point.